Time for a new game of Fallout New Vegas. This is modded. It has tons of mods. Um, oh, yeah. So you see, I have the Caravan Pack, Dead Money, Honest Starts, Old World Blues, Lonesome Road, Gunrunner's Arsenal. So I have all the available content for the game. All right. Start a new game. Yes. I think that guy's dead. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're uh, crying in the rain, Pally. <coughs> wow. Guess who's waking up what? over here? The hell? Who the fuck are you guys? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? Cons. Must be part of the great cons. I'll get you guys back for that. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. Oh, um... From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18-carat run of bad luck. Uh, we could talk. Work out a deal? Um, truth is... The game was rigged from the start. Well, we can talk, can't we?
and the first of many items added. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Feel Why like don't you just relax a sec. A hell of a headache. Take your bear. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh. Uh. Um. I don't remember what my name is. Uh. I'm gonna have to come up with a better name. I don't think. Uh. I think he must be calling me my profession. He, he, I, I look at my name tag and it says courier. I don't think that's my name. That's probably my profession. Oh, crap. Anyone have a good name for me? Any names? Jingleheimer? Is that the name? Philip Seymour Fry? Another reference there. Sure! Philip Seymour Fry. We have a winner, I think, unless there was another vote there. I'll look one more time. Nope. Okay. Philip Seymour Fry it is. Oh, I can't fit it all in there. Philip S. Fry, apparently. Seymour will have to be just understood to be that. I'll see if that's okay. That's okay. Continuing on. Also, mutants and sex robots, yay. Well, yep, okay. Philip Seymour Fry. I can't say it. <laughs> it interrupted him. <laughs> <clears throat> it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Okay. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left Dude, anything out of I place. I still have my brain, right? You haven't, like, replaced it with metal, because that'd be totally... How'd I do? Oh, good. I don't have a metal... Metal, metal skull plate. Sure, sure. That that looks okay. Uh, how about this actually instead? I could be Agent Forty Seven. How about that? No, nah, I think that's too much, bro. Let's check something else out. I'm an Asian guy. <laughs> I'm a Caucasian guy. I'm a freaking old guy. I'm another older version of Forty Seven. There. This is the variant of Forty Seven. There. Notice the differences there. Anyone have any ideas? Whoa, or I could accidentally click off from it. Sure, let's do that. None? Oh, I'm just gonna go random then. Well, like I, I usually most do. most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Let's just go ahead and randomize as always. Because I don't really give two craps. You don't get to see your character very long anyway. I'll be wearing a full-on helmet. Sure, that works. I don't really care. Sure, let's make him freaking old as hell. No. <laughs> that, 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 that's actually amusing. Let's just, uh, let's, let's put him, like, right about there. Sure, why not? That'll work. I don't really care. Hairstyle. Facial hair. Let's see what beard we pick out. I could spend hours. I won't spend hours, though. I usually don't pick anything. Any ideas on what might he beard he should have? Ronin, you say? Alright. I've heard a vote for Ronin. Looks like that. Notice barcode back ahead. I'm going with the whole he's a clone concept. Fu Manchu, I hear. That's a vote for Fu Manchu and a vote for Ronin. So I've heard two votes. Anyone else have a vote? Let's look at the uh, Fu Manchu here. Although I already know what it looks like because I've seen the damn movies. Because I believe that's what... That one? No, that's Manchuria. Where is it? I know Fu Manchu's in here. I've seen it. I may have gone past it. 
go through here again. I don't see it in here, actually. Oh, maybe... Nope. No, there is one. Huh. Non-alphabetical beards. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? It's not alphabetical, or else I could just go to F. But I'm not seeing it, so uh, I don't think there is one in there. Because they've only got, you know, these beards. So I'd have to get a separate mod that adds more beards, because there are some mods that add more beards. Screw it, Ronin is! I will do Ronin then. Now that I have two votes for Ronin. Because I want to get into the damn game. That's part of the reason I really don't care much, but I was going to ask. Alright, there we go. I think we're done. Anything else you want to add before we get on with it? Whoa, or I could just keep clicking out of it. And that's nothing. We get on with it. Alright, on with it we are. We will, we will go all on with it. I know, right? I mean, those baby blue eyes. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Uh, sure. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. It, it's not? Huh. Oh. Oh good, he's looking the way. Let's just take that bag. Let's see what else I can take here. Huh. Not one of those they look in your ear with. Or in my brain in this case. Wait, wait, there's something over here. Oh. That's cool. I wonder if he'll notice I'm wearing reed glasses. Nah, I'll put it on later. Oh look, there's uh some ammo and a suit and stuff. Can't do that. It's a sarsaparilla. Let's see. Ooh, a chemistry set. I can't do anything with. I'm not smart enough yet. Okay. Ooh, looking good so far. Facts. Go ahead and give the bigger test a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right I'll get around to it in a second. Ooh. Voice modulator and planner. Don't let me talk like other people. Lace pistols. Drain cells. Surgical tubing may actually be useful later. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that's work on his stats. I'm just gonna skip to the end here. And then choose them all manually. Like I usually do. Now I usually play a very smart guy with bad luck because it makes it hilarious with the amount of mishaps that occur. Now, so I usually play a guy with a, a intelligence like that, a charisma like that, and then I usually drop his luck down to either one or two, and then add what's left into perception. Whoops, no. perception. One into endurance, one into strength. That's usually what I do. Oh wait, wait, agility. That's right. It wasn't strength; it was agility. There you go. That's what I usually do. Thoughts on that? And yeah, free clinic. I could just take whatever is around. Uh, I, I'm sure that uh, Michael Malone would be fine with that. And yes, Tacky Suticals villain. And no, the cons are actually a reference to Genghis Khan. Whoops, and then I go back to that. Let's go back to the game here. Game. There we go. Continue. Okay, that works for me then. Now that don't make a lick of sense. Seems to me you're the luckiest son of a gun in New Vegas. Well, we know your vitals are good. 
But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. I have dogs? Why don't you bring him in here? I'd like to say hi to my dogs. I didn't even know I had dogs. Alright. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Oh, dog? Um... Well, uh... I guess newspaper. House. House? Uh... Well, usually target. Night. Oh, uh, silencer, course. Bandit. Oh, um... That's pretty simple. Usually you just crush. Light. Oh, light. Uh, that's a torch. Mother. Oh, uh... I don't even know much about her, really. I guess regret. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Uh... Yeah, you know what, uh, I, I think it might just be in my nature, uh, I feel, I don't feel hugely strong towards it, I, I don't plan to just, you know. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think I do. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Uh, I prefer staying out of the limelight. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. <laughs> ah, new ideas get you working with better. Old ideas get you killed. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. No, 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 no. You sneak around the problem and take it out from behind with a garrote. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you say. Huh, looks like ants to me. Yeah, ants, totally. Okay. How about this one? Looks like a dragonfly on top of... Well... I don't know, I... It looks like it might be some kind of radio antenna or something. Last one. Huh. Yeah, it looks like the pillow I used to smother my last target. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. I believe that it pegged me dead on. Science, guns, and energy weapons. That's pretty damn right. Should any ones you want me to tag instead of those three, feel free to toss it in. Alright. That works for me too. This repair is useful and all, but it, it doesn't serve as well as you might think. Okay, bloodthirsty orphaned clone rebel whose quick thinking has art of gold. Well, the trick is I also have an army of troops I can call in at any time. I will be asking you guys which one I work with or affiliate myself with later on. Whoa, not load. Continue, I'll save later. Alright, energy weapons, guns, and science, and, uh, yeah, I normally pick medicine as well instead of, uh, instead of energy weapons, or uh, guns, I mean, but I'll just go ahead and do it this way right now, mostly because I actually do have guns starting out. Melee weapons might be useful, but we really don't want to close in. I've got the mutant mod on, and, uh, those monsters are pretty dangerous. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Uh, I hope not. Alright, now notice I got a lot of traits. Because a couple of them came specifically from, um, uh, gunrunners. Like, we got Hoarder here, which I can carry an extra 25 pounds, but suffer a negative one to all attributes anytime the weight I've carried drops below 75%. I myself am going to be taking Wild Wasteland. I will let you guys decide on the other. Now, if anyone already had an idea, feel free to toss in. If not, I'll go ahead and look through them real quick and pick one. Because I usually pick one related to guns, because... Especially the one where you shoot slower. But, uh, you're more accurate. 
And you do more damage, I should say. Loophole? Oh, look, it's loophole. So I'm not going to be going past uh, level 30 if that's the case. Okay, so we've got hot-blooded. We've got loophole. What's the third vote there? All right, so we've got a, a hot-blooded, a loophole, and an abstain. So, uh, in between loophole and hot-blooded, let me go ahead and tell you what they're about then. So, Logan's loophole. No one's going to put me out to pasture because I'm going to stay young and level 30 forever. I'll never again become addicted to chems and they'll last twice as long. But after 30, you can kiss experience, perks, and skill points goodbye. This one's great for a short-run campaign stuff. It's also awesome because I won't become addicted to chems and they'll last twice as long. Which kicks butt. If, if I do this, I'm going to be a drug addict the entire game. I usually do not play one. Honestly, I, whenever I play these games, I don't even use Mentats. I, I, I kick butt throughout the entire game without using anything more than Stims and Sunset Sparsparilla and maybe Stim Packs. That's it. Oh, and maybe a Brahmin Steak upon occasion, but nothing, no kip. So, I will be playing an odd game. The other one is Hot-Blooded. Let me look at that one. When your health drops below 50%, I gain plus 10% more damage, but I also su suffer negative 2 to my agility and perception attributes. Which means I'm much less likely to hit them and see them, but I'm much, what, 10% more damage. Of the two, I like Logan's Loophole more, but Hot Blood, it definitely fits the character. Uh, actually, last time I played this game, I chose Skilled, which gets me plus 5 points to every skill, but a negative 10% from experience gained from now on, because that kind of fit with his background of being a, uh, you know, assassin from a young age. He started out with higher skills, but was slower to learn new ones because of that. Now, let's see. So, Lo Hot Blooded and Logan's Loophole. Feuds? Hot Blooded Courier, let's do it. Alright, Hot Blooded and Wild Wasteland it is. So, let's do Hot Blooded. And Wild Wasteland. Checking it. Making sure. Yep. Hot blooded. Catching the scene. Yeah, I know that one well. Done. All right. I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll see you out. He'll see me out. Oh, okay. He wants to throw me out of here? Oh, I'm going to take some stuff then. Let's see what he's got that might be useful. Huh. Oh, good. He's around the corner. Uh... I don't remember collecting baseballs. Oh, this one's not signed by Nolan Ryan. I'm not used to, I don't really care. I don't know why, but suddenly I want to, you know, get foundation stuff. I don't know why I'd need uh, any kind of foundation stuff at all. Ooh. Seeds. Meh. Uh. Ah. Uh, ammo. I don't know if I'll need it, but I'll get some. Some water. Steady. This so I could shoot up later. Nope. 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 Oh, I thought it was back there. It must be in here. I thought there was a razor in here. I must be mistaken. Must be somewhere else. Maybe in here? Nope. It's worth a look. Yep, nothing back there. Now in here. Grilled mantis. Huh, I don't know if I remember eating that or not. Some food, why not? Yeast, dinner plates. Stuff I don't need to carry with me. I'll be dropping it all over the place if I try and use it. I know there's a razor here somewhere. I remember there being one here. It's on the floor somewhere? Ooh. Oh, you're watching, are you? Well, I'll take your hat. What do you think of that? See here. This guy brought me back to life. I don't know why I'm acting like such a jerk. Ooh, blood pack. I may need that. I may bleed out again. Huh. You know? Let's uh let's see. 
I think, um, since I'm not going with the drug addict thing, I want to create some stim packs. These might be better for selling. Oh, let's do stim packs. I'm going to get hurt a lot. I'm going to need those. Yeah, I don't need empty bottles. I can't repair this gun. Let's see, where is it? I know there is a, a friggin' razor here somewhere. I remember seeing it before. I've played this game before. I remember it. Where the hell is it? Let me check. Maybe someone knows where it is. Messed up in the head. Australian. Ah, uh, see here. Wait. Hardballer. Yeah, yeah. No question how you carry all this stuff. Well, the answer is, um... Yeah. Uh... Yeah. I got a lot of room in there. Here. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Uh, you know what? You shouldn't have looked through my stuff. You should have just, like, put it in a box or something. Didn't have much choice, I'm afraid. But I understand the sentiment. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Okay. Hardcore mode, yes or no? Or to vote for no so far. Yeah, so am I. Uh, I usually play with hardcore mode active, but this is specifically going to be more combat related, and I don't want to have to go constantly finding water and food, because damn, water runs out quick, and every time you drink it, you may get um, all sorts of nastiness. So, no we go. <laughs> That was the Pip-Boy activating. This is what it looks like. Pip-Boy Readius. It's a nice one. Let's immediately pop into my Hitman suit. Switch in my Heavy Baller here. The knife there. Let's see, got my Mauser here. I'll put that here. Laser pistol, shotgun, binoculars at seven. Oh, wait, I forgot. I want to put my... Uh... Yeah, shut up. Uh, I want to put my command radio on four. So I'll move the Mauser over. Let's see, I don't need any of the rest of this to be automatically on. Oh good, I can wear the hat and the Hitman suit. Excellent. Oh, I can't pull out guns while I'm in here anyway. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, it's bright outside. You've got a fragmented signal on your pip boy. A coded transmission of some sort with a sad, jazzy undercurrent that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the midnight science fiction feature at Mojave Drive In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Old World Blues, my level cap was raised by five. Pip-Boys received a signal. Coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Following the coordinates are the words Courier 6. It's signed, Ulysses. Lonesome Road has been loaded. My level cap increased by additional 5. Your Pip-Boy has picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Caravan Company. 
They're looking for one more member for an expedition to Zion Valley. And a chorus on his hearts has been loaded and my level cap's been raised by five. Now, the one thing it didn't mention was the Sierra Madre. I'm sure it will eventually mention the Sierra Madre, but it hasn't popped up yet. The ongoing conflict in the Mojave Wasteland has kicked weapon manufacturers into high gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Head to your nearest participating vendor to peruse the merchandise. Gunrose Arsenal has been loaded. I'll wait till it's all loaded here. There you go. Your pit boys picked up radio broadcast, inviting you to the grand open of the Sierra Madre Casino. Dead money's been loaded, my level cap's up by another five. Oh, Victor's under attack. Let's go ahead and use my vats here. Oh, I should have just used the sights. Looks like a zombie of some sort. Must be a bunch of those around. Wow, well, looks kind of desiccated, alright. Very sun parched. Whoa. Hearing more gunfire. Must be a zombie attack on progress in the town. Oh! Big corners are freaking out at the sound of it. All right, before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and save. Where are we? Oh, zombie. that zombie. Oh, they don't have anything worth searching for. Alright. Now before I go into town, I wanted to show you guys a couple more things. One, there's a bunch of zombies out here. Two, you may notice, this is an engineer. Whoop. Let me take care of the zombie first. takes care of a zombie. Let's remember, guys, shoot him in the head. Solution to all your problems. Alright, so, this Electro uh, City guy, what they're doing is they're setting up lights all over the wasteland. Like this one, where you see the light tower going up there. This lights up at night time, making it very well lit. Here is because I have the Hitman mod loaded, it uh, kind of overlaps into the engineering mod, because this is a building that the engineer goes into during nighttime. But because this mod's loaded, it kind of overlaps. That's the only mod problems I've had in this game so far, is that little overlap. Alright, now over here, uh, like I do always with this game, even though I don't use practically any of the features, I do have the Leveler's House in here. So if push comes to shove, I can use its facilities. Now, of course, I will go ahead and hop on in so I can show you what it looks like. The only thing I will use in it, probably, is to sort items. Because when you're in here, you can sit here and walk over and start, you know, kicking on the Activate 8 sorters and sorters, and it will sort all your items into different sections. Crafted, magazines, unique weapons, etc. There's a place where you can get food, which I don't need because I don't have the, uh, you know, hardcore mode on, so I don't need to keep eating food, infinite steak. There's a stove you can cook in, and a trash compactor to get rid of items. Um, that's if, of course, if you don't you always use the codes. And there's different terminals you can use, and a bunch of cheap items, which I'm not going to use. But I can uh, convert things and use the bench here, and I can store stuff here, which is useful. Perk terminal is useful if I need to get perks switched around. And over here is the reloading bench. 
Over here I can get ammunition. I'm probably going to be using this because it's really annoying, uh, especially if you're doing a first-person shooter guide, to be able to uh, play this game. Uh, you keep running out of ammunition. You don't get enough money. So, This is Sophia who guards the place. She has a gun that uh, blows up pretty much anything that moves. All right. Now this is almost all the different types of food in the game inside this nice little spot here. Let me open the gate here. They can be harvested and they will eventually come back over time. So I can just sit here and collect all the jalapenos, the pinto beans, the prickly pears, the feral cactus, the honey mesquite, and the maize without worrying about anything. And there's a place for water here where I can refill bottles. Uh, and it, it's very nice. I, I like it. So, I could even summon in, you know, bad guys if I wanted to fight them but, and activate the disintegrator. Now, I will activate the disintegrator uh, once once uh, Victor moves out of the affected area. Oh, wait, nope, zombies are there. There you go. I took care of the zombies. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. It's a nice little spot here. Whoop. Not a head, but it still works. My well, update is why the iron sight's not actually zooming in properly into the sights. I'm guessing that's because I have the third person. Whoops. That's the command radio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the, the knife there. It's the 47 knife. It's sharp. It's very sharp. It's nice. Now, uh, let me go ahead and see here. Doop, doop, doop. Now, I got to choose the soldier type. This is the next thing I'm going to be asking you guys. So, we've got different decisions here to make. Oop, let me go back to it. We, I could be with any specific faction here when it comes to bringing in troops from them. Enclave, Brotherhood of Steel, NCR, American Army. Those are the four groups I could summon at any time and bring in a personal location transmitter to drop off stuff with to have them guard areas, to have squads attack. I may have a heart of gold, but I could easily bring in uh, bunches of troops to take care of anything, especially if a town decides to betray me or something. Not that that would happen in this game or anything. But still. So, yes, American Army. So, one vote for Brotherhood of Steel. One vote for American Army. Well, technically, the Enclave is also, you know, American Army. Brotherhood, I hear over and over again from the same person. All right. Well, I have a vote between Brotherhood of Steel and America. Now, the American Army has uh, different groups. I will go ahead and summon, I will do one then the other, so you can see what they look like, because I, it's not like it's a final choice. I can switch it at any time. So let me show you what, uh, let me see, who, who, who cast the vote first? First person who uh, cast said Brotherhood, so I will summon the Brotherhood first, so you can see what the troops look like. Oh, Brother to Steel. Oh, Brother to Steel. Brother to Steel. Oh, right, I forgot. I have to actually hit done. Okay, miscellaneous options here. Command key, I'm going to say is the same there. That's fine. I'm going to have to change the grenade key for a different mod. Let me do that here. Oh, right. Wrong, wrong, wrong place. It's uh, in here. Let's see here. I thought it was in here. It's not in there. Next up, Boom Hill. Oh, we must be engaging a zombie. Nice job, Victor. Good shoot. Next up. Whoa. Knife to the face. Good shooting a dead zombie just to make sure. Double top, am I right? Hog killing. I think they're considered odds. I'll tell you what, I'll help him out this time around. 
Let's uh, cancel one of the shots here. There you go. Just to make sure. Okay, now, that being said. So, we've chosen Brother to Steal. Let me go ahead and call in the reinforcements. Oh, right, I forgot. So this is the command radio. I could give them commands and stuff. Let me first call in some troops. Request ground support. Alpha Squad. Come in and land right here. Where are you, Alpha Squad? There's Alpha Squad. Coming in on the Vertibird. Now, so you get a smattering of it, I have up to eight choices. So I'll get one of each. And then I'll just fill up with soldiers at the end. So you get a good taste of all the different types of them. So I get some knights. We get some uh, regular soldiers. We got some of the more elite troops. We've got uh, recon, which carry the 22 pistols that are silenced. We've got the scribe over here who can hack computers and the rest of that, carrying what looks like one of the, the las guns. And we have the heavy weapon guys who either carry the infer heavy inferno or they carry this laser cannon thing. And then uh, another heavy guy with a grenade launcher, it looks like. So this is the options we have right here. Now what I can do is I can put them on individual orders so they don't listen to the commands of the whole group. Sir. Like in this case, I'm going to have him uh, follow me. And now, even if I tell the others to go away, he'll follow me. Like if I say, uh, press 4, squad commands, back to base, Sir. Sir. he will follow me and the rest will sit here and vanish off over the horizon. They'll completely ignore enemies, too, if I recall correctly. Now, let me go ahead and switch to the other squad here. Show you what the American army looks like. Alright. Now, for the American army. Let's put them in Bravo squad there. I already have an Alpha squad. He's got him. <laughs> yeah, they don't stand a chance to him. Hey, buddy, don't land. Don't stand right there. You might get crushed underneath the vertebrae. Now notice, they got uh, an extra option there. They have a mechanized unit, too. They have a Mr. Gutsy. Now... They don't care. They don't wear as much armor as the Brothers Steel guys do. I'll say that much. But they have a good uh, setting here. So here's an American heavy gunner. Notice they also wear Brotherhood of Steel type armor. It's the American version of it. They carry gauze cannons. This guy's got a laser pistol. Notice about the same equipment. This is an engineer here. Holy shit! They should be more careful when they fire. That guy fired a grenade into the middle of the group because the zombie was nearby. So anyway, here's an assault soldier. He's got a flamethrower. Here's a Mr. Gutsy. He's got a good mix of weapons. Over here, we've got an American soldier. He's got a service rifle, just like the NCR does. All of the American soldiers have the exact same appearance. The NCR at least has some more variety on that. Hey. Otherwise, I think that's everyone. Oh yeah, an American Devastator unit. They wear a different set of armor. They wear a different style of Brotherhood Steel armor. This is the guy who fired the grenade into the middle of the group of troops and blew up something. Because he shouldn't fire grenades in point-blank range. And over here is uh, our American Sniper, who is currently sneaking around because she doesn't want to get killed by zombies, apparently. You might not be able to see her, depending on the quality of my current stream. But she's right here. When she becomes visible, uh, I'll let you know. 
or you'll just see her materialize. Right now we're under attack by zombies though, so it might be a little while. Holy shit! There's some shooting outside in real life. A couple blocks away. Well, that's her. She's vanishing. Sir. Ah, oh, there we go. As you were, soldier. Thanks. Alright. So, out of all that, what next? American Army, Brotherhood of Steel, what up? Because you know how to taste the boat. Once this is done, I'll get to the game. Oh. I'm hearing the latest one I see is America. So. I heard Brotherhood and America. America. But yeah. Etc. Just to let you know, we do cuss in the stream. Ha ha ha. Well, not here in one way or the other, so I'm going to go ahead and say America it is. I really like the Brotherhood of Steel stuff. They wear more armor. Um, but the uh, America has the robot. And I honestly really like having Mr. Gutsies floating around. They are amusing the hell of me. But damn it, the Brotherhood of Steel is awesome. It's just... In the fluff, it would be really weird to try and run around with either group. But, I could always compromise and get a little bit of both. Like you just saw. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. You fucking idiot. You just... Hold on. Hold on. You, buddy. You, son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, you just put me shunned by the NCR. You shot the engineer. That wasn't nice. Much better. Okay. Now I've worked off my anger at him blowing up an engineer of the American Army. Or the NCR, I mean, not the American Army. We're the American Army! Hey. America! Engage. We'll engage all communist forces and destroy them. Man, so many zombies. Perhaps I should start without that mod on. Because <laughs> the zombie mod is fun and all for constant fighting. Ah, eh, screw it, I'll leave it on. It's good for constant fighting. I can't ever, ever let my guard down or I'll be swarmed with them. They do decent damage, too, and they can infect NPCs. They can even infect my own troops. They actually uh, were a while working on a mod to put basically Resident Evil level uh, troops into the game. You could do some custom armors and give them armor, but I haven't done that yet. Alright, so let's get to the actual game. I'm going to go to a little bar there and see what all they got for me. I'll leave my troops stationed out here. Let's put the marker out here. Alright, squad. Move to marker. Red. I'll leave them guarding out here. Huh. Tumbleweed, huh? Alright, you. You're coming with me. Why? Because I like you, brother, the steel guy. You're on my team now. I think he's dead now. Yeah, I think so too. I just wanted to make sure he learned his lesson. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. She won't bite unless you, you tell him to. Okay. Must be assuming that Cheyenne's your dog. So, uh, Doc Mitchell sent me your way. Said you could help me survive in the desert. I don't really think you have anything neat to teach me, but why the hell not? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. All right. I'll see you there. Hmm. 
Nice. All right, behind the saloon, huh? Wonder what she's gonna do back Get there. Down. What the? Oh, you guys keep holding me for it. We'll just head on back here. Come on. All right. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. All right. I've done this before. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Yeah, I'll let you take care of them while I take care of these. Next shot. Don't worry, he'll get him. He's tough. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Or zombies, for that what, matter. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, geckos, you say? I don't remember what those are. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. These things must be pretty small then. Perhaps my target's that direction. Okay guys, now, one thing you can determine. Now I've played through this whole game, so you can tell me what target I have as Agent 47, and I will be glad to do it. Oh, that's weird! They, I thought they fixed the eye bug thing for Cheyenne, but apparently they haven't. Still has the creepy floating eyes next to Cheyenne. I guess I would have had to have downloaded the bug fix for it. Because I've played through the game enough, I could find whatever target you gave me. Ooh, there's a, there's a crawling zombie up there. But on the hilltop. Come on. Whoop. Got more zombies, looks like. Ah, quite a few of them. Nope, no head for you. That um, all the other guns work just fine with this iron with the sights, but for some odd reason the H-47 one doesn't. Engaging. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed onwards. It looks like she just kept walking after that. Let me see if any of the zombies had anything. Because sometimes zombies will actually have um, bootable stuff, but they don't always. Nope. Go ahead and head that way. I'm pretty sturdy. I can run quite a ways. Come on. I think I'm going to end up fighting them um, a little earlier. Normally, you sit here and you. Uh, work with her on taking them out and trying to be stealthy about it. Oh shit! Ow! Holy crap! Die, zombie! Holy crap! Holy moly! These are tough zombies! In the head! <laughs> no, you don't. I may have to call in my troops. It's exactly why I have that mod on, though. Come on. I've taken out more enemies. Oh, no, you don't. No one gets behind me. Yeah, I think I'm calling in my troops. 
Let's see if any more show up. Doesn't look like it. Okay, squad. See? Oh. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Uh, sure. Shouldn't take more than more a couple zombies, minutes, huh? Especially with two of us. Come with me. Wow, she gave me a lot of ammo. Follow me, guys. Then I feel for more zombies. They could be anywhere around here. Damn living dead. They're all over the place. Oh, those are what geckos are. I didn't even see them because they died so fast. Let's just unload into his head. Holy moly, I actually killed him in one shot. Looks like they're down. Okay, my, my troops just got here. Someone's under attack. No, you don't. You guys won't get to kill this lady. I mean, I may be, you know, an assassin, but I'm not a monster. I'll protect the lady from giant, you know, lizard things. Howdy. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done. I'd be a goner for sure. No I came problem, up here man. to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Oh, I think they're dead. There's, uh, there she is. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Uh, I'm not really interested in living off the land, honestly. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I'm heading back to the prospector. I could use a drink about now. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. All right, I may just go say hi then. Another you later, son. Howdy. <laughs> you interrupted me, Mr. Gutsy. I like that. What's going on? There's a massive gunfight going off this direction. Oh, there's a zombie about to attack you, man. Here, you, you get him. You got the sniper weapon. Oh, you got him. Works out. Let me go see what he's about. Why is he hanging out here all on his own? How's it going? Evening. Hello? Can you help me? Um, got my own problems, but, uh, what do you need help with? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Oh, where? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. I don't trust him for a second. Keeping an eye peeled for ambushes. Gun out. Troops, fire at will. Oh. Uh, anything we want to change before we move on?
I think we're good. I'm going to move on. All right, back to the game. Finished. All right. Let's see here. Radio tower broken. This is probably the path. Oh, oh pardon me. What the hell are those things? Holy shit, there's something... I better pull my binoculars out. What the hell is that? Holy moly, it's... It's a gecko, but it's... It walks like a man. That's very creepy. Wait, what's up this way? Is this that ridge? Sure enough, there's zombies up there. I can see one of them right now. I don't see any geckos. Huh. Maybe the zombies at the geckos. Oh, there's one. There you go. He was worried his girl was going to be eaten by those things. He seemed almost, uh, passive. Oh, well. I'll exterminate him nonetheless, if necessary. Too many. Oh, there's one. Holy moly! My gun did almost nothing. Guys, engage, engage. Keep up the good work. Oh my gosh, he's 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 shooting flames back out of his mouth. Are you okay? You're on fire. Okay, you're okay. Good. I'm gonna skin you. Your hide may be worth something. Ah, oh, more zombies. Okay, what's going on? I don't see. Oh. All right, let's see here. I should get my repair skill up to 25. Just so I can repair some stuff. Let's put, let's put four in science, well, yeah, let's put four in science, then two energy weapons, and two guns, well, let's do two guns, yeah, two energy weapons, well, why not, okay, confirmed bachelor, intense training, lady killer, rapid reload, retention, or swift learner. Good night, Ross. Good night. Anyway, confirmed bachelor, intense training, lady killer, rapid reload, retention, swift learner. I would say um, the one that makes the most sense, unfortunately, for uh, the way I've seen AP47 played, is going to be either lady killer or confirmed bachelor. Almost every single target he kills in any game is a guy, and he usually is kind of creepily dressed in very skimpy outfits as he kills them. Ah, <sighs> unfortunately. There's also, uh, retention. He picks up a magazine. He now learns it. That's with Learner. I gain levels faster. Bangity bangity bang. Thoughts on what I should get? I mean, intense training can be fitting for his background as well. If I have intense training for agility, for example. Or intelligence, if I want to go for having a 10 in something. Not seeing any replies, I'm just going to go ahead and pick Confirmed Bachelor. Besides, it gives me a direct benefit. I do 10% damage against male opponents. That's the majority of your opponents in this game. That's very useful. I can better kill people. I'm Confirmed Bachelor. I'm not interested in getting funky down with any guys, though. I'd much rather suggest things and then horribly murder them in their own room. Why? gets me closer to the damn target. 
Holy moly, that's a lot of them. Oh, that's a sand lizard. Those things are actually dangerous. I was expecting to be easy pickings. Took me two shots. Okay. Let's see what we got up here. Well, there's some dead people. None freshly. Oh, there's a bear trap. Let's disarm that. Nice try. Empty foot locker. A bed. Johnny? Ow. Huh? Was there another one I didn't see? Yes, there was. Johnny. His girlfriend is a guy. Something about this is very strange. Also, he has all these... Wow, he has five aces. Ooh, some ammo. Woo! That was a good-looking gun. Colt 6520. Let's take a look at that gun. Hells yeah. That's a nice firearm. I remember seeing this gun except until later a game before. I assume it's because I didn't have Gunrunner loaded last time around. Camera? Why the hell not? Well, let's, uh, let's have some fun here. There's zombies down there. Let's see if they play with their balls. Oh, is it going to go over the edge? Yeah, it looks like it's going to... Nope, stop right there. Oh, well. It looked amusing to me. All right. Continuing on. It's about to be nighttime. That means I'm going to get more encounters. And not just with zombies. I better go say hi to that lady, uh, Trudy, or whatever Sorry I tricked you. But thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. After I deal with you, Stash. Huh? Ready to die for your country, you call me son of I'm sorry. You must have me mistaken for someone else. Oh shit, he's a zombie. He was a zombie the whole time. I'll take your pistol. said there was a stash up here. Let's see here. On the light. Maybe it's in this refrigerator. Yeah. There's just whiskey. Pinion nuts. There's no real stash. What stash was he talking about? There was just some small amount of ammo. That stash up there, he said. Well, I've got a mustache. Maybe that's what he meant. I don't see anything. That guy was nuts. I don't see any stash. No haul it out rocks. No visible stash anywhere. Mustache. Not even a mustache. Let's see. Maybe something this way. It's so dark out here at nighttime. This one of the mods I have makes it realistically dark. Let me show you what it looks like with the pip light off. Yeah, that dark. Also, the sky looks amazing at nighttime with this mod. This is called the Nevada Skies Mod.
makes the night sky look amazing. I mean, seriously amazing. Okay. Well, I don't see any, uh... Stash. So I'm gonna go on back up here. And the bed back on down. Cause I don't know what the hell he was talking about. There was some... Some cigar... And a small amount of ammo. That's all. And some burned people. No stash. Alright. Well, away I go. See no reason to stick around here. I'll go talk to that Trudy, whatever her name is, in the morning. I guess I could sleep in the bed up here. I have my troops here to guard me anyway. Let me go ahead and order them. Squad, move to the red marker. Move the red marker here. There you go. Let's go ahead and hop into bed. Enemies nearby. Bet there's zombies down there. Yep, I'm gonna bed zombies. Fine, I guess I'll go back down the hill. Squad. All me. Nuts. And I thought I was just about to be able to actually have a good night's sleep after getting shot in the damn head. I mean, he's out for a while, but still. I kind of want to sleep. Let's switch weapons here. Pull out my last pistol. Notice they modified the laser pistol to actually have sights on it. That's one thing I did like. Because the one in Fallout 3 did not. Let me save here. Radio tower. Let's see what's out here on my way back to town. Let's see here. I think that's what my current quest is. Go and meet Trudy. Yep. Zombies, huh? Whoop! Thought so. Whoop! Guess it was nothing. Suitcase, some milk bottles, and there's a bed here. I totally sleep here. I'm hearing something. I don't know quite what it is. up this way. Traveling at night's always uh, freaky in this game because with the, with the mutant mods and the mods, I'm going to be getting a bunch more encounters at night.
I don't have any more ammo for it. I better switch guns. Let's see. I have a lot of shotgun shots. They're good against zombies. Notice, zombies don't give you much experience. That's because you're going to be fighting so many of them. That's one thing I'm glad about with the mod. Is they don't give but one experience each. Huh. Aww. Some poor guy decided to break his spine trying to hide inside a refrigerator. Good. Take some food or I'm gonna die. Blood pack gives me one hit point. How with that? Maybe that gives me some health. Food doesn't give me health. Crap. Uh stip pack! Okay. Let's get the hat there. I'm sorry, buddy. You shouldn't have tried to hide inside the refrigerator for the nuclear holocaust. Why'd you ever think that was going to work? Would you see it in a movie or something? There's some coyotes out here. I can hear them already. Oop, zombie in front. Always look behind you when zombies attack. There's usually more than one. When they attack, oftentimes you'll get hit from behind at the same time. I'm almost back in town. I've got you now. Let's keep going. This town's got some big zombie problems. Good springs. My troops finally caught up. Sure enough, my troops finally caught up here. Awesome. Looks like some of them are still engaged with zombies. There we go. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in in the morning and uh, talk to Trudy, because it's the middle of the night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to that little house I got up in the back here, head off to sleep, and then next morning, come by and uh, say hi to her and all that. Poke my head in, as they say. Okay, you guys, um, put the flag, where do I want to put the flag at, let's say, uh, yeah, sure, the red marker is, uh, that place right there. Squad, uh, move to the red marker, and then this chill, so now they'll chill. Uh, Victor's still fighting out there. Alright, save and then go inside and head off to sleep. 
Then I'll probably head off to sleep in real life. Because I'm going to go and finish this up. Alright. I'm inside. You'll hop in bed. Till about 6 a.m. Morning. But given a key and a note for a house called Mickey's. Wonder what that's about. I'm gonna go check it out. You say it again? It's an unwise thing in this game to not save this often. Believe me, I've learned the hard way. Saving is your friend. Now, do I think this is going to work? No. Because if I remember correctly, a couple mods back, the uh, Hitman mod broke. Why it broke, I don't know. But eventually it did break. But I'm going to see if it works. If it doesn't, then, uh, well, nothing lost. So, uh, oh yeah, let me read the note. Just so you know what the note says. Because I'm sure you guys haven't seen that. So, data. Miscellaneous. Weird note. We have received word that your ability to murder is quite remarkable. Therefore, we are going to give you access to our facility in Good Springs. Just follow the road north and you'll find Mickey's house. Start up the terminal and you can begin your work. So, Hitman Communication Terminal 1.2.1. They've got target payment and details. Now, as the reason I was asking you guys for a target is I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. It doesn't normally work very well at all. Requesting target. It'll say requesting, and then I'm going to sit here and wait to see if it actually generates one. It's It went away, meaning it probably worked. Now if I go, click on details, it doesn't say anything. So, let me see here. The information regarding the target normally would drop in the little trash thing out front. We're out here now. Let me see here. I didn't get any notes. I didn't get any more quests. I'm pretty sure it would be, your target information would be right here. But notice that there's nothing in the trash can. Now it's possible it would be back here. Problem is, it's overlaid. So if there's anything here I'm supposed to get access to, I can't. Because it's all, you know, mixed up in this mess. No, you don't. <coughs> Sneeze. Over here. But I'm pretty sure that whatever it is, it's not so much that it done broke because of this part, but it's broke because it doesn't give you any information regarding your target at all. It should give details. That's the end of that. That's what I do. Details. Contracts fulfilled. Nothing. Back. Request target. Request target. It just says requesting. It never actually gives me the target. I don't receive any notes, I don't receive anything to tell me where the target is. I mean, I thought, when I first played this, I thought there was like a picture frame, or some kind of locker, or something else in here, that tells you about the mission. And there's nothing, there's just some Nuka Cola, I mean, not even any of these vents are interactable, there's no hidden areas that I've seen anywhere. Because I thought for sure there'd be somewhere in here would give you the information regarding your target. But there's nothing. There is nada. Yet. Even in the bathtub. The bathroom. There's nothing. 
Oh, wait, there's not even a working faucet. I can't even drink water from any of these things. This is the ultimate useless room. The only reason I even have it is it starts you out with the Hitman gear. So there you go. I'm going to head back outside and, you know, draw aggro for more zombies. Ah, uh, you guys don't pathfind right. Eventually, he'll find his way around it. Okay. Now, it's daytime. I'm going to go talk to Trudy. Oh, yeah. I should totally take his gear. Let's get the grenade launcher, at least. Switch to the Mauser. I haven't used that yet. It looks really nice. Okay. over this way? No, that's Sunny. Well, I'll uh, talk to Sunny over here. <clears throat> Howdy. Hi there. Sticking around good. Uh, tell me about Good Springs. Sure. What do you want to know? What, uh, what towns are near here? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. I've never heard of any kind of critters that, uh, that haven't taken uh, being shot. I know what the NCR is. Uh, what kind of creatures are those you're talking about? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Huh. Well, I've seen one walking upright. What do you think of that? Well, you know what? Fine. Maybe you know something about the NCR I don't, even though I'm a citizen of the NCR. The new California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. <laughs> yeah, that's good. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Sounds fair to me. Uh, I already know what you do. Until I don't need to ask that. See you later, uh, lady. You're nice. Not enough nice people out there in the world right now. Mostly zombies want to eat people. Let's go talk to this, uh, town mom person. Howdy. What? You're in here? How? I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? Hey, you're threatening her. I don't take kindly to that. Uh, in retrospect, I was using the wrong type of gun. Hey there. Hi. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Burning this town to the ground? You know what? Ow. Got it. We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. All right, Mr. Guy. I think you're dead. Not my problem. So 
Oh, I think you're dead. We need more people like you around. Thanks. What, people who walk up and just shoot people who threaten town in the back of the head? I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're gonna care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? Uh... So, what was all that argument about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. You idiots. You don't run into too many people who claim that people are after him. That are dressed. You know, funny. Uh, when there are criminals out here in the area, especially active, you should treat it like it really is what he said. But either way, uh, what were you going to do? What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. So, um, where is this Ringo? I'm gonna have to ask you about this powder gangers in a second. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay, um... Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably... Okay, tell me about these powder gangers. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They gave chain gang felons dynamite. Oh. Oh, this is just too good. No wonder they broke out. Alright. Oh, um... Who was the guy I just blew his head off with? He's a convict. Just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what about that robot? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Whoa, whoa, what does he do? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. What are you talking about? He was just outside blowing up zombies. What were they gonna do? Bite his metal, you know, chassis? He was just blowing apart zombies like piecemeal. They'd come up, they'd smack him, and he'd just shoot him down. So wh why don't you like that? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Cheerful cowboy act? He just said it was pig killing time and started blowing him apart. I didn't see that as a cheerful cowboy act, but maybe I'd have to talk to him longer. So how long has he been here? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Sounds like a rumor to me. Fine by me. Yeah, uh... So, uh, what do you guys have for sale? Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Uh, after blowing apart Cobb, you mean? Well, that's nice. Ooh. I see you got some Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's good stuff. Moonshine. Ho oh. ho. Fixing things. Ramen steaks. Atomic cocktail. Alright, I think I'm good on that. I don't need any more of that. I don't have anything I really want to sell, do I? could sell the rubber block, but I have a feeling I may need that at some point. I could sell the leather armor, but uh, honestly, my Hitman suit gives me no armor. That's why I ended up dying. I shouldn't have died, but I wasn't wearing enough armor. I was wearing a freaking Hitman suit. By the way, I think I'm good. I only have 91 caps after all. I could get some beer. 
I don't need any of that shit anyway. No ammo either. So, uh, those people who shot me in the fucking head. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. Okay, you just said that you had no clue about him. Then you said one of the great cons knocked your radio to the floor. There's something wrong with this statement. You knew there were cons. You didn't say that in what you just said. You just suddenly said, I don't know, but one of the cons knocked you to the floor. So, where were they going? Did they chat at all about it? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Uh... Wait, Quarry Junction, is that the one that's the road going up north? The one, uh, with the poisonous critters? And, uh, ones that don't take out being shot? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Yeah. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Uh, did they say where they were going? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. So, uh, that radio there. Mind if I take a look? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. There's a couple other radios you should listen to. Radio stations, that is. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The trader... Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. So, uh, anything else going on that I should know about? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Huh. No, I, uh, I assume it's power-related. So, uh, this Legion, are they those, uh, Caesar's Legion folks? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I have a feeling it's also because of the fact that they're, um, they're, they're limited when it comes to technology. Be careful out there. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Huh. She's a nice lady. I'll take a look at a radio. I don't know my way around most radios, but I'll take a look. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. No, no, no. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Uh... Thanks for the caps, ma'am. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Uh, I am good. Be careful out there. Yep. See you later, Troop. Howdy. How are you, sir? How are you doing? That Doc Mitchell sure knows his stuff, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He does. I'm around to prove it. Oh, hey Sonny. There. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. Hey, hey, hey. He was threatening town with being destroyed. I didn't really have much choice, now did I? Either way, I'll see you later, Sonny. Until next time. Go ahead and save and end it here. So a good little first run into here with Mr. Philip S. Fry instead of Philip J. Fry. So, Philip Seymour Fry. I waited, Fry. I waited. 
I waited. Either way, hope y'all had fun and enjoyed my first little run here to Fallout New Vegas. I'm sure there will be more to come. Now, because this is where I'm going to end off, let me go ahead and save. And see you later, folks.